Hi, Sunny family. I'm coach Sam Candler, here to take you through a 20 minute strength for runners class. All we'll need today is yourself, a mat, and a set of dumbbells. Mine are 10 pounds, but feel free to adjust and modify for whatever works for you. We'll get started with our warm up now. On the floor for our glute bridges. On your back, hands just about where you can touch your heels. We'll lift up, exhale, and lower back down. On these, we're activating our glutes and our hamstrings, hugely critical for when we run. Breathing out, abs tight at the top, and just getting our body ready for the work ahead. We've got about eight more seconds here, and then we're gonna flip over into a set of push-ups. Y'all all know these three, two, and one. Into our push-ups here, options to be on your feet or on your knees. Either way, we've got 30 seconds, actively pulling yourself down into the push-up, and then exhaling as you come up. We are almost there, 13 seconds to go. Use your core, exhale up. Couple more reps. We have four, three, two, and one. Then into a side plank. Let's get those obliques working for us. I like to go on my elbow. You can stack your feet or have your top foot in front. Raise your hips. We're just gonna hold here for another 10 seconds, getting our obliques ready to work, feeling the front of our abs engage too. We've got three, two, and one. Same thing on the other side. Feet can be stacked, top foot can be in front, hips are lifted, shoulders are stacked, and we're just letting our muscles activate to make sure that we can get through this workout the most efficiently, the strongest, and with the least likelihood of injury. You ready? Coming up to standing, our final set in our warm up. We're gonna do 30 seconds of squats. Exhale on your way up here. Knees stay out, chest is open. Inhale on the way down. Exhale up, inhale down. We got this. We're here for about another 10, even less, eight seconds. We have four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to get into the, the bread and butter of today's workout. We have two circuits. We're gonna do each one two times through. And with them, we'll have three exercises in our circuits. Your first one, we will start with a B stance hinge. We'll grab your dumbbells here. One foot is gonna be a little bit behind the other. Hips are gonna hinge back. We'll feel a stretch of your hamstrings. And then you'll stand tall. Of course, we'll get each leg. Second exercise, you'll be on the floor. Hips are gonna come down to your heels, and as you come up, you'll press your arms up. Then we'll repeat. Third exercise is a supinated row. Palm will face forward, and we'll do our rows. Now we've got 10 seconds until we start. B stance hinges are up first. Four, three, two, and one. One hip back. One foot back, sorry, we hinge both hips back. Stand tall, squeeze your glutes and your abs tight at the top. Our hamstrings and our glutes are critical for propelling us forward every step of the way when we run. Therefore, they've made it into our Strength for Runners program. We have 10 more seconds. Just staying here on this left side. Shoulders are back, chest is open. We have three, two, and one. We'll switch sides. This time emphasizing the right leg. Hips hinge back. Exhale, squeeze the glute forward. Abs are always tight at the top, never overarching through our back. 15 seconds to go. Breathe out on the way up. Hold your chest open. No collapsing down, none of this. We want this. We have four, three, two, and one. We have a 15 second opportunity to get down to the floor. For our push presses, I'm gonna start with the sides. So these are kneeling push presses. So you can see my form. I'll sit my hips back and exhale as I press up. We'll start in three, two, and one. Hips hinge back. Hips are four, we press those weights up. We want one fluid motion as we come up. Running involves a lot of power of our core. That's what connects our lower body to our upper body. We need to have a lot of power there so we can transfer force. 10 seconds to go. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Then getting ready for our supinated rows, we will only need one dumbbell for these. We'll start in eight seconds, right arm first, palm will face forward, three, two, and one. Here we go. Exhale as we pull that arm up. You want to feel your shoulder blade glide across your back. Palm stays forward to get a little extra work of the lats and the biceps. And then from the side, it looks just like this. I've got an open chest, my head and neck are neutral, looking forward. Eight seconds to go till we switch to the left arm. We have three, two, and one. Same thing on the left side. Now we do these because our arms drive back to propel our body forward. So get that feeling here that you're driving that elbow back. That'll help propel you forward and up a hill when we run. We have 13 seconds to go. Make sure we have slow, controlled, solid form. That's it, five, four, three, two, and one. We get a 30 second rest here before we repeat that entire circuit again. So we'll start with our B stance hinges, move into our kneeling push presses, and then finish with our supinating rows. 15 seconds to get there. We'll need both of our dumbbells. Remember in this hip hinge here, the B stance hinge, it's a lot like a regular deadlift, except we take one leg and bring it back, just like this. We'll start in four, three, two, and one. I'm starting right leg this time. Hips hinge, exhale, stand tall. Right here, you got this. So imagine this right leg propelling you forward when you run, especially when you sprint, there's a lot of strength involved. Shoulders are back. We've got a strong posture throughout. Arms are never getting pulled away. They're staying tucked down your back. We have four, three, two, one. Other side. Now envision your left leg propelling you forward, propelling you up a hill. That's why this matters for us runners. Inhale down, exhale up. Most of your weight is gonna come through the back half of your left foot here. We're up high on those right toes. Almost there. Feeling those glutes and hamstrings for sure. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Down to the floor. Take both of your dumbbells with you. Back to these push presses here. Using power from your hips to help propel your weights up into the air. We do that with control and we use our core. Here we go. Three, two, one. 30 seconds here. Controlled movements. We're not rushing. We can get our cardio on the treadmill. This is all about strength. Exhale up, abs are tight. Back down, exhale up. We have 15 seconds, and I want you to look at my abs at the top here. I'm not arching my back like this. No, I keep my abs tight. Four, three, two, and one. Then into our final set in this circuit, supinated rows. I'm gonna start right hand this time. We'll start in four, three, two, and one. Palm faces forward. I take that whole shoulder blade across my back. From the side, that means my arm is never tilting down. I've got that whole point of my shoulder rolling back. We have our nice controlled motion here. Exhaling as we bring it up. Our upper body is lifted, not collapsed. Eight seconds to go. You've got this. Four, three, two, and one. Onto that left side, here we go. 30 seconds, y'all know what to do here. You can just imagine. Imagine how the power of this arm is going to help you when you run, when you sprint, when you go up a hill. That's what we're doing this for. We have just over 10 seconds left. You've got to stay with it, controlled movements here. Nice squeeze at the top. Four, three, two, and one. Good work. Circuit one, done. Well, we're not done with this workout, you knew that. We're gonna move on to circuit two. That'll look like this. While you rest, I'll show you. 
a lateral lunge, opening up our hips to a wide row here, working on our posture. We're gonna stay all on one side at a time. Exercise two, a beast hold with a shoulder tap. That means we're on all fours. We bring those knees up just a little bit by lifting with our core and we alternate tapping each side of your body. And then exercise three, we'll be in a half kneeling chop here, right knee down, start in front of our right leg. Bring that arm across your body, working your obliques. Got it? 15 seconds till we get started. We'll go lateral lunges to the left first with a row to the right. Eight seconds. We're here for 30 in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Lunge left, nice deep lunge. Row right. In our lunge, you still want your chest up just like we did in our hinges. And now we don't move laterally when we run, but this lateral motion is very important to help keep our muscles balanced. That's why we're doing this. We go for another 10 seconds. Lunge in wide row. Five seconds to go. It's time for another rep. Three, two, and one. Then we'll switch our dumbbell to the other side. And I want you to see from the side. I lunge and then I row wide. My upper arm and my forearm are parallel to the floor. We are halfway there. Keep going. Exhale on the way up. Core tight. Chest is open. You know these things. We have another five seconds. Three, two, and one. 15 seconds to get ready for our beast hold. Now you can get sloppy with this and get your hips up or drag your knees to the floor. Let's actually work that core, that core that works so hard for us when we run. We lift those knees up a little and then we change side to side here, pressing through the opposite foot. So if I'm lifting my right arm, I really want to be pressing through my left foot to help hold my balance. We're here for 15 more seconds, just like this. Hold your body still. I always like to think of that nice, delicious martini on my back that I do not want to spill. We've got three, two, and one. Then we'll be in our final exercise of this first round of circuit two. Half kneeling chops. Right knee is down, left leg is forward. Three, two, one. We lift across your body and bring it down. In a chop, we work your core by not moving it. So we could rotate, but we're choosing not to. We're holding our core very steady here. Should sound a lot like running. When we run, we're not twisting our core all over the place. We're letting our arms and legs move around a nice stable core. We have seven seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. We'll do the same thing from the other side. Straight across your body. Exhale on the way up. The straighter your arms are, the more work you're going to do. So if you can get those arms all the way straight, you've created a longer lever and more work for your body. In training, that's a good thing. More work is gonna make us stronger. We have four, three, two, and one. And good news, 30 seconds of rest. We go right back to it. Lateral lunges. We'll only need one dumbbell. And breathe. So this makes sense. We use our muscles that we, we train our muscles that we use when we run to get them stronger, but we also train the muscles around them to keep our body balanced and reduce our risk of injury. That's why we're gonna move sideways here. We'll start in three, two, and one. Nice big lateral lunge. Open up those hips and a strong stable stance at the top. That's it. Find a momentary pause up here. Really emphasize the strength of your posture muscles behind you. I can assure you that being slumped forward when we run doesn't help any of us. We want that chest to open. We want our lungs to get the air they need. Five more seconds here before we switch. Three, two, one. Now let's go. From me over to the left, lunge to the right. Good. Always feels so good for me to open up my hips. 
that stay in this really straight line when I run. Now here, this is like their chance to break free a little bit. 10 more seconds. We got this, five more seconds. We keep going till the end. Three, two, and one. And getting ready for our beast hold. This is about stability. This is about core. If you find it easy, think more about this core. Think more about holding your body level. I guarantee you, this is a challenge. Here we go. Slow, deliberate movements. Not letting my body rock like this. Not letting my hips go up, holding them down level. You got this? You feel that action across your core? The same one that happens when we run. 10 seconds. Woo! We have five, four, three, two, and one. We have our chops to finish out circuit two. 30 seconds each side. You know how to do these? Let's get them done. Starting left to right this time. Three, two, one. Exhale across my body and inhale back down. Control the entire motion. We want slow controlled movement. And then I'll tell you, we're gonna feel a pull right across this way. So we've got internal and external obliques. This is a lot about those internal obliques allowing us to create motion around a nice strong core. We have four, two, and one. And then other side, exhale up. That's it. Good. 20 seconds of work left here. We've got this. 15 seconds. You might be feeling those shoulders fire up a little bit. It's pretty normal here. 10 seconds, engage that core, squeeze your hips forward. We have four, three, two, and one. All right, so you know we signed up for a 20 minute workout. You know it's been 17, so guess what that means? We have a finisher today. We're gonna do it in a minute and a half. Five reps each of two exercises. We will start with skaters. We'll stand here. Hop to the other side and here. Option to balance that back leg. There we go. Second, knee drives. We're gonna do a reverse lunge. Drive that knee up, just like you would if you were sprinting. Are you ready for this? We'll start in eight seconds. Five each on the speed skaters, five each on the knee drives. We do it again. Three, two, one, let's go. There's one. Yeah, okay, that's it. Stay low, give me power side to side. There's four and five. Now I go into that knee drive. I'm gonna stay all on one side here. Three, feeling that core engage, four. And other side. You may notice my arms, they're very deliberately mimicking the action they would when I was running. One more. All right, back to our skaters. See if I can get my little balance here. These legs are getting tired. There we go. I got it, do you? Here we go. One more each. Good, now I'm gonna start left leg, just for a little variety, reverse lunge, knee drive. That's it. Now we're here for 90 seconds, and 60 of them are over. Now keep moving. Other side, five reps of everything. Exhale as we stand tall. There's enough time for another round. Let's go. Just about 15 seconds left. Almost there. One more each. Good. And then into those knee drives. I'm gonna alternate so I can stay even. Three, two. One, we're done. Good work, my runners. Good work for all of you who knew to show up today to strengthen and stabilize your body. We'll do a brief stretch here. Let's take your left leg forward, right foot back and slightly out. We'll hinge over your straight front leg, stretching your hamstring. 
keeping your chest open and breathe. Same thing, other side, right foot forward, left toes back and out, nice flat back. We don't need to round here, we need to get oxygen and breathe. You got it. And then we're gonna do one final core stretch because we worked it so much today. You're going to be on the floor and then just find your way up to a little cobra or an upward dog. And just let that core lengthen. Y'all did a wonderful job today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for showing up for yourself today. I'll see you next time.